we're down breaking the um, FIA land speed record for the fastest electric vehicle over a 500 km distance in our weight category. Um, we wanted to show that we're the first electric vehicle pretty much anywhere on the planet that can comfortably sit at freeway speeds 100 km or more an hour while still doing large distances like 500 km. How quiet it is! So you know, getting used to the no uh, no engine noise and uh, obviously no gear changes. So you know, it's not every day you come out to a uh, a track and get to break a, a world record. So yeah, it's definitely exciting. Looking forward to it. You start your other senses start working working overtime. Like um, I smelt one of the, the front right tyre when it when I went over a few bumps. I'd cop a few whiffs of, of the tyre like burning rubber. So. Yeah, I think you become a lot more aware of other things because there is no noise. So, um, you know, I think I've learned a few things from it. This car is really categorised by, it, you know, everything is as efficient as possible. The shape, you know, minimal drag on the shape. The carbon fibre body is trying to get maximum, um, well, minimum weight in the car. The customization of the car is really where the, um, the cost and the difficulty gets in. The fact that we're, we're working towards a world record attempt, it's been great to be part of a project like this and uh, great crew as well from the you know, University of New South Wales. To see all the hard work all the guys and girls have put into it in the, in the car, and, you know, it's a full credit to them. So you know, I'm really looking forward to the challenge and uh, you know, hopefully breaking a black record at the end of the day. So attempting this world record has been about seven odd months in the making. We started really recruiting a bunch of new um, engineers at the start of the year. And we've been meeting up weekly, nearly every day towards the last few months, um, making sure we're do practicing pit stop changes, practicing everything in between. It's really about just preparing for this moment. There's nothing quite to describe the feeling of working for seven months um, part-time while you're doing university to achieve something like this. 